I believe the Policy Summit was an effort to bring together five very dynamic communities that have historically not worked together, but share a set of common values and struggles and strengths to really be in dialogue and to understand that commonality and to look at the opportunities for us to work together to impact policy. It is sort of a culmination and it's, and it's a way of galvanizing and bringing people together and showing how, you know, we're not in this alone. At its core, it really was an opportunity for community members to hear some of the work that our partners had been doing, some of the recommendations that they had come up with, and to vet those ideas with consumers and see if there was consensus or if we needed to change our thinking. I like seeing the fact that there was this energy. It was almost kind of electric. And that people felt like this wasn't the end of something, that it was the beginning, and that they really are taking this on as a commitment that they will follow through with. We also wanted to increase access to healthy food and that's from looking at um, creating gardens, farmers markets, making sure that people who are on cow fresh um, are able to access those systems because we know our grocery stores and our left our communities and those that remain oftentimes provide poor quality. So it's about getting communities to take back ownership for their food, grow their food, probably grow healthier food, and the benefits of it are so great. Then it's about physical activity. We know that our communities are park poor. There's, they're older communities that were built with big parks, and yet because there's so many apartments now, they need more open space. And so it's about how do we carve out open space? How do we carve out streets that are safe for not just um, cars but for people. And then the fourth area was really around just sort of the environment, uh, making sure that people are not in um, toxic environments. Well, we are working with seven federally qualified community health centers in South Los Angeles. With the advice of the community clinics, we decided to focus on patient recall and reminder systems. The no-show rate, people not coming to their appointments, is in excess of 50% in seven cases. The lower the no-show rate, the more patients that can be seen, the better for clients, the better for uh, the providers in terms of their workflow and um, dollars flowing into the clinics. All of the seven clinics came up and uh, installed those systems and had them operationalized. And all of them experienced a reduction in their no-show rates. And then all of the cl clinics started to really use the systems to do preventive care. So Know Your Digits was a month-long campaign that we organized. It was declared Know Your Digits Month by the city and county of Los Angeles. And it was a, an awareness campaign to just get people to become aware of the fact that their blood pressure is important, they need to know it, there are too many people fighting themselves with strokes and, 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 and dying because they haven't taken the time to understand the importance of hypertension. We were able to get 45 community partners to help disseminate information about Know Your Digits. We ended up hosting over 80 events, 40 of which included free blood pressure screenings where we were able to reach and screen over a thousand individuals. This iteration of Know Your Digits really focused on high blood pressure or blood pressure levels. We hope to expand that so we're really talking about other chronic diseases, other numbers that are important for people to know such as their cholesterol levels, blood sugar levels, and the message stays the same. It really is about being in control of your own situation and knowing what you need to do when you go see your provider. So CHC is so proud of the success and accomplishments of our partners. We're grateful to be a part of that. And we know that this is just the beginning of the transformation that we're going to see here in Los Angeles in the years to come.